Hi folks, John Kitts here, playing Sail Away, the sailing simulator. Um, I've been trying to record this uh, game for a while, but for some reason it's one of those games and there are only a couple others that I have that seem to use the same resources that the uh, recorder takes and the two of them together cause for a lot of really poor graphics so I'm hoping I've tried I'm trying different uh, game recorders and the one I'm trying now seems to work okay so if things kind of look glitchy it's not the game it's the uh, the way that I'm recording and the combination of the game in my my system so uh, don't blame the game is what I'm saying so this is a sailing simulator and it is a real-time simulator as in you get on the sailboat and you start sailing and there's no like jumping forward or backward or all over the place it's you sail and there is an immense amount of data that gets put into this uh, program for example um, you can set yourself up a place in the world so I decided I would set myself up in good old Halifax Nova Scotia where I happen to be right now and I checked the wind before I came on and it is uh, somewhere around that in knots I don't know what the conversion is between kilometers and knots but that seems roughly correct uh, right now we're at 13.2 knots uh, wind speed which is the wind speed locally it also is the exact time of day that we're in if it were nighttime it would look like nighttime here it also has a local map which I will scroll into and don't be confused by these lines I'll explain those in a minute and I'm at anchor right now and when you go in anchor uh, you as a sailboat will when you drop the anchor uh, it uh, turns to face the wind so this little red arrow here shows the wind direction so we're facing that uh, and it is I haven't checked that particular thing but from looking at the stats from playing previously uh, that is the actual direction of the wind plus it accesses some uh, charts somewhere or another where it would it actually shows the uh, wind variance from one place to another it uh, would sh show you the current and it shows the depth of whatever I am if you look at the arrow over here on the map I'm moving it around the number that's changing is the depth so it uh, accesses from sites unknown to me the various uh, charts to show you the depths etc uh, some of the other things there are just just so many to try to think of all at once here and as I said I've tried to record this several times so I don't know what I've said before and what I've already said in this video so forgive me if I repeat myself sometimes okay so we have here right now we are on I think I can't remember what it's called see if the info tells me no the info is not going to tell me um, the Nordic something now there's a small boat it's not the smallest boat in my group of boats that I have but uh, it's a small boat and not a whole lot I can do but what I can do if I want to do things manually I could adjust the sail I could raise it lower it adjust it tighten it uh, do all kinds of things uh, but there's also this little thing up here so if I click that it will uh, adjust things on its own so I'm going to click that right now to give you a sense so it's going to pull the main sail from 0 to 100 and it's going to be flapping a whole lot right now because I'm pointing straight at the wind let's bring the map back see if I can turn this a little bit there we go 
you see now here I'm not pointing at the wind that's the wind there so I'm pointing off here and I'm uh, starting to build up a little bit of speed and I am now going at wow uh, going up to three knots roughly a little more 3.5 three six anyway I am moving at a pretty good pace so I should scroll in here make sure I'm not going to run into anything um, okay you can set up a course for yourself so for example this one I've set up a course where I started there when I started trying to record and it would just go from to go from here away over to St. Margaret's Bay and it will uh, that just for for guidance sake right now so for example that's the next waypoint would be this one which is uh, 2.8 nautical miles away so if I go over here it's telling me that if the, the way I'm going right now it's going to take me uh, three hours right some reason it's not there we go time to go to the next waypoint it's going to take me four hours because I'm obviously not heading in the right direction so let's uh, see if I can swing further around and uh, you can see up here the program suggesting the sailing for you for my for me uh, now, if I go back here, it's only going to take me 11 minutes to get there, and uh, I'm going at what? I'm going at 4.4, 4, almost four and a half knots, uh, because the wind right now is at 13.6 uh, kilometers. So that's that, and. I can I can erase this and start over again um, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger so we can see it here uh, to say I'm in Alfax Harbor and I'm heading for this particular spot and uh, so when I get there I can just swing around and start following it but uh, I'll have to tack back and forth because I go from here to there I'm going to be going almost directly into the wind and and that's going to slow me down considerably now here's the big thing about this whole thing is that if I just try to keep saying as I say there's no fast forward here if I just try to um, uh, head, uh, head from here to St. Margaret's Bay it's going to take me hours but if I set it up over here and I would say it says set auto navigation to sail the Lado track that doesn't mean you can sail right now it means when I log off like if I click that uh, start to sail when you're offline so when I go offline shut the game down go to bed or play another game or go have dinner or whatever uh, well the game doesn't isn't running in the background it's shut down so that when I start the game up uh, the next time it will calculate how it will say well, okay there's when you stopped and now's the time when you started so it will calculate all the distance that uh, you would have traveled and if it's several hours later you will have gone the full distance and have reached St. Margaret's Bay so that's uh, some of the things. Gosh, um, what are I've just so many things I just can't think of them all right now. Uh, if you're into sailing, you know what all this stuff means. I don't. Um, course over ground would be the, your, your course if you weren't being affected by wind and uh, um, currents etc 
the heading is what you're heading right now taking into account the current etc so we're heading up there at we slow down a bit let me see some of the other things I can tell you about for example I was my home as a kid was in this area here and if anyone's from the area where I was brought up you would know some of these landmarks now where is it for example Croucher's Island we would know that and there's smaller islands off there's Clam Island used to be the party island when I was a kid and it's getting it a little closer I was my home was roughly in this area and there's this little island called Mink Island which is maybe 30 40 feet wide or in diameter so it's a really small island yet there it is and there is the cove next to where I was brought up I think it's not showing as much detail because I'd lowered some of the graphic capabilities in order to make this record properly but you make the island it should be and then this point was over here let's see if I can raise the details here I think they were going to there options video now I'm in full details here field of view so I should be seeing some of these details and for some reason I'm not at Mink Island anyway it's Longard's Cove which would normally be Mackerel Cove over here Give me um, for some reason the details that I've seen here before are not showing up, but they do. They do show up. What can I tell you? It's a, you know, try to record something, everything goes wrong. Um, so what I'm saying is, huge amount of detail. You can uh, set up a course if you want to sail from. Uh, good old Halifax to London, England, and uh, as I said before, uh, you can you're not going to sit there and sail all that time, and there's no fast forward, so you just um, set the course, uh, shut down the game, and I don't know how long it takes to sail to England, but uh, across the Atlantic. But uh, let's say uh, a couple months later, uh, you would be sailing in the Thames. Uh, there is a way, by the way, to teleport, so you're not you can't you're not stuck like where the game starts. The game will start you off uh, just off the coast of Africa, and uh, you have to sail. You teleport from there to wherever you want to start so I teleported to this area here and uh, let's lower this a little bit I don't know how much I can say you can move around the boat uh, you can still see let's see it should show me here and it should probably be very close to that waypoint how far am I away? GPS still nine minutes away because I've slowed down a little bit from when I looked before. Uh, I could adjust everything by adjusting my uh, heading. Um, I'm a lot relying on this to optimize the sails. Obviously, I can look around. It's not very optimized because those telltales should be straight out. Oh, it's it's pulling in the the main sheet now. There it is. The, the telltales are starting to straighten out, and now we're heading here at a little over five knots. So let's go back over here and look. And now I'm only four minutes away. 
Okay, but I can move around. Like I can get right up on the bow and do a Titanic thing. And uh, sit there looking over the uh, ocean. I can move around. Like there is one setting right there where you can uh, take a look at your boat while it's moving. And you can, by the way, uh, personalize your boat. Like I put the Canadian flag on there and put the Canadian colors as close as I could get them. So you keep clicking through this. This puts you back in the helm. And this puts you on the various sides of the boat. And this will bring you back up to the bow. And there we are. So click there and go back in the helm. I can s manually steer. I can, as I said before, I can manually adjust all these bits and pieces. I can manually steer, which I better adjust again because I don't know what I just did to myself. That's ah, not too bad. We'll keep that course. Um, let me see. Other things. Um, as I said before, it will... Uh, if you go, if you set, shut the game down, it will, oh there's, anyway, wait now, uh, I'll go back to that. Uh, shut the game down, it will sail for you while you're uh, off having snooze. Uh, however, if you made a mistake setting up your course, it will and the, and the boat runs around will send you an email saying such and such a boat has uh, run aground. So, uh, and you kind of date like this little boat, it would be not very smart to take that out to sea because uh, under maximum wind conditions it will capsize, so be forewarned. Now, um, Right, this part here, I forget what this stuff does, the tactical view. It uh, shows my heading, the, as you can see, the points of the compass. Let's move back up to the front here and see. Now uh, there's current. Uh, again, it's read the charts and this would probably be the current or at least current within the last hour or so. Um, so that's the tactical view. Turn that off. What else is I'm showing? Constellations. If it's dark, you would see the constellations, which, and then you could take a screenshot. Okay, so very realistic. And let's go back here again. Uh, keep checking. I must be very close. And now we're three minutes away. Let's go back to Mac, but scroll in here. Okay, yeah. Uh, I got some adjustments to do. So let's try to swing around. As you can see, the game will automatically adjust my sheets. So now I'm pretty close to heading straight there. I'm probably not at optimum wind or at optimum angle to the wind. Uh, but I still am three minutes away. Heading straight for it. Okay, uh, the other thing was it puts you in local time. I, guess, yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned that already. Uh, you can see it's daytime while well, I am playing in the daytime and my computer is telling me it's almost 12.30 noon. This is, that's um, daylight saving. So this is standard time, so it's 11.25. So that's another thing that we're dealing with. Uh, Gosh, I'm trying to think of all the things I can tell you, and I'm going to just make a, a mess of this whole thing because there's so much to tell you about. Uh, let me see. All right, let's go. Let's, I'm not going to run into anything, so okay there. Let's hit the escape key, come back out here again, 
Now I can change the boat I'm on, which I'm not going to do at the moment because I will want to uh, go back to anchor before I do that. I can these are the activities. I can run a tutorial. I can do several challenges. I can join in a race, and uh, I should point out this is in that sense multiplayer. So there are other ships out there, and uh, well, these are uh, uh, voyages, are um, little courses that other people have set up and uh, uploaded, and you can do the same yourself. Like I could upload my little course from Halifax Harbor, St. Margaret's Bay, and uh, rankings, as I say, it's multiplayer, so the rankings would be I'm not sure what the qualifications are. This gentleman here uh, Black Shark, I'm assuming that's his pseudonym and he has this many points. I don't know how you can uh, play with that and find out, but I don't know what how you build up points. So let's uh, back up. You can see all the various people who've contributed to the game. Um, okay, let's come back here because there's something I want to show you. This up here is, well, there's my account that I have here. It's free. It uh, comes with the game. But I could also invite a friend. So uh, I'm not quite sure because I, well, I don't have any friends. I'm just a gamer. Um, I'm not sure if you had a friend playing the game, whether they would be able to join you on the boat. And if it was a bigger boat, they would, you know, man one or two of the sails for you. Or whether they can sail alongside you. I'm not quite sure. Uh, something you can uh, play with in time to come. So, okay. Um... Back to the map. Okay, it shows I have actually reached this waypoint, and the time that we're seeing here is to the next waypoint. So let's swing around closer to the wind. So I'm going to be slowing down because I'm almost straight into the wind at this point. So I would be tacking back and forth if I was seriously playing this game in order to make it to the next waypoint, which is out there, right there. So that would be my next waypoint, which would be, according to this, uh, two hours away. So, a uh, little bit more. What else am I going to show you? Okay, let's uh, bring this to anchor. And uh, kind of cuts down on the noise a bit. And let us go to the boats. Now, this is the boat I'm using now. Uh, this ocean cruiser, I'm not sure where that is. Uh... I think I just accidentally selected that one time and it's probably sitting off the coast of Africa right now. What the heck? Let's click on it. No, it is. Where are we? It's daytime, so it can't be in Africa. I'm scrolling back on the map. Is it daytime in Africa right now? I guess so. It must be late in the evening, though. Still my local time where I am here. Not local time there. But, um, you can see... Uh, this is where you start when you enter the game, and you can see all these other ships or boats are around. Uh, whether they're being manned right now, or they're just sitting there. That's the, my, I, that's not the name, it's not my boat, that's somebody else who 
has something called my boat and master disasters right there and that's me here anyway okay so I'm at I should be at anchor let's go at anchor here too so we're not sailing into anything and it'll swing around to the wind the way I would expect now let's back out again come back to boat and that's the one we just left this is the offshore eraser okay that's in St. Margaret's Bay right now so let's click on that so and again the game is adjusting things for me I'm already at sailing and let's click on that to show my boat which is uh, quite far out scrolling in and there's the course I have set and as you see I am not on course so let's swing ourselves around here so that we're going to run into irons here, it means straight into the wind. We'll come to a complete halt until we swing over and tack the other way. So we should be able to pick up some fairly good speed here. So down in St. Margaret's Bay, the wind speed is not quite as uh, high as it is in Halifax. Uh, St. Margaret's Bay, well actually St. Margaret's Bay, that's not St. Margaret's Bay, that's Hubbard's, this is St. Margaret's Bay here, the course I have is from Hubbard's to, to here, which is, uh, is, a, is a beginning of St. Margaret's Bay. So now I'm up to almost three knots heading in that direction, and the same things we saw before, uh, the I can half roughly half an hour away from the next waypoint, so that's all the waypoints. Anyway, what I wanted to show you, this is a more complex boat. And there is something if I click on it. Okay, that's the jib. There's something somewhere. I remember clicking on it before. Um me a list of all the sails that I have and there's on this one there's seven or eight various sails that go up and down whenever you want to uh, the jib and the mainsail and there's also a spinnaker or a jenniker I don't know if those are terms <laughs> I just sort of yeah, oh here we go uh, main hollow the Cunningham is at 100% have no idea main vang is 32% uh, code zero halyard the Genoa uh, the jib uh, is at 107% so it's been tightened up for some reason again then there's the halyard let's see if I can move around here uh, the barber hauler at 53% and that sideways so that's not a sail that must be a particular line so all you sailors the same thing again all you sailors can uh, laugh at my total lack of understanding here but hopefully you appreciate the complexity of this and all of those sheets and lines and sails you can adjust as best you can, the, the telltales there are very good. So I'm going to click on that again. And it's easing off on the jib a bit. In fact, it looks like it's taking it down completely. Remove a reef from the mainsail. Raise the Genoa. Lower the jib. Okay, so it did stuff. Now it's raising something. Okay, pulling the Genoa. I don't know how that sounds. Wow, the effect of the speed. Speed is now going up. 
So anyway, I just wanted to show you that there are things more complex than we know of under heaven and hell. Oh, look at that. See, it's working on its own. And it's got the general. Now look at our speed. We are now cooking at almost seven knots. Hopefully I'm not going to run into anything. I don't see any little islands here. So let's uh, move forward and take a look up here. We am right up in the... Wow. You can see it's uh, not as windy as it was in Halifax. Anyway, I don't know how long I've been recording here. And hopefully it recorded my voice and everything to go with it. Uh, so I'm just going to stop here. And hopefully you were impressed by the incredible detail in this program. Or in this, um, this game. So if you found this uh, in any way helpful, please hit the uh, thumbs up button or the like button. And if you want to support the channel, which I really sincerely hope you do, hit the subscribe button. Totally free. Uh, so, uh, until next time, if I'm trying to figure out how to shut the uh, recording off now, anyway, until next time, please do take care.